Hi again, it's me, Catherine Lewis, Internal Communications Manager here at Reward Gateway. If you're viewing this for the first time, you might wonder if I've got a fancy video team with me. And at Reward Gateway, we're really lucky to have a fantastic video team and they help me a lot but they're not here today. It's just me sitting in this den with my tripod, an iPhone, and this handy little microphone here. So today we're gonna to talk about something that shapes so much of my job at RG, and that is global communications. Think global is even one of our values as well. Now, whether your workforce is spread out in different offices, we have offices in five different countries, or perhaps you're dealing with a larger offline workforce or field workers, making your employees feel connected can be a real challenge. So while we do a lot of work on our digital channel Boom, and we also have Boom Byte TV, we wanted to find an event that was even bigger than this. So what could that event be? Well, we host a quarterly all hands meeting to talk about our product roadmap, quarterly plans for featured teams, and we also have an interview with CEO Glenn. Now, every event has a different agenda and different theme. Setting that's always really fun. And I began organizing the events in April 2016. What I had is we used NPS surveys after each event to measure the effectiveness of it. Effectiveness is important. When I began, we were scoring 22.7. And it's been absolutely awesome to say that in four events, we've been able to increase that score all the way up to 55. Yes. It's the best bit though. I've also done that. I was halving the budget from the previous year. So now I'm gonna give you some really good tips or ideas how you can make your event really effective too. First up, the agenda. You need to vary this. Each event, set a theme and focus the presentations around that. What this will do is it will help the audience to focus and understand the purpose of the day. And talking about your audience, make sure that they can join in. Audience participation. We do this with CEO on the spot. This is where employees can submit any question they like and Glenn will answer it live on stage. They love it. It's actually one of their favorite bits of the whole day. Now onto your presenters. When briefing your presenters on what they'll need to do on the day, provide them with a template which they can follow. This will mean your presentations are coherent and all follow a similar story which your audience can follow. The other thing, okay, actually, I did a, um, I created a format which was 369, which means they share where they are now, what's in store for the next three months, what's in store for the next six months, and so on. I'd be happy to share that with you if you want some ideas. This has improved the quality of our content significantly. And again, it's enabled the audience to understand the purpose of that all hands meeting. <laughs> Publicize this event, right? So going before the event, there's no point in having it if you don't tell people, publicize it on your internal comms. So via your internal communication platform, via social media, generate some real buzz. And then after the event, generate post event two. Think about it, the content your, your presenters have provided is absolute gold dust. Now you have all round content of what's happening in the business, in each department, everywhere, okay? You can pick out the highlights from the presentations, you can dig deeper on bits that you want to know more about, and you can refer back to this content in all your articles to keep the content and the day alive. Finally, make it social. Maybe have an after party with the same theme, get some other people to organize it, they'll love it, and it'll really work on your social cohesion in your business. And last up, make it fun. Right, we've been using lip sync videos. You might know it's like carpool karaoke, got all the presenters to do those as a short 10 second clip before they go on stage. It makes everybody smile, makes them feel great when they walk on. If you're thinking global, there's just a couple of last things to bear in mind. Think about time zones, Figure out the best technology to use. I mean, we use live stream, but you could really push the boundaries if you wanted to and try something like Facebook Live. And also, you could, if you're really, really lucky and able to get all your employees together, have it hosted in your biggest meeting room. And this whatever works for you. Just remember, time zones are probably most important. Mm. Oh yeah, and also make sure that all of your office locations are represented. You don't want to be missing anybody out and making them feel alienated. So, on that note, I think that's all from me today in, the, in this episode of Catcoms TV. I'll be seeing you again soon. Bye.